it's no secret around here that we love saving you guys as much money as possible when you're using your Cricut machine. Why? Because when you can save money with your machine, you can make more, you can save more, and you will feel really good about it, right? In today's video, I'm so excited because I'm gonna share with you 15 Cricut items under $5 that you need, and I bet you are missing one or two from your Cricut supplies, especially if you're a beginner. But if you're new around here, do not forget to stop, hit the like button, give us a subscribe for more Cricut videos, and let's go ahead and jump into these 15 different items. To kick off, I wanna share with you my favorite, favorite, favorite all time two-way glue pen. This is a Zig two-way glue pen, and y'all, I've been using this thing for 10 years. Not exactly this bottle, but I've been using two-way glue for a very, very long time. And let me explain to you exactly why you need a two-way glue pen in all of your Cricut crafts. This right here goes on blue and dries to clear. So what I love about this is for any paper project you're doing, we always have an ATG gun, which is more than $5, but this is the secret weapon for those small pieces in any paper project. If you're building a cake topper, I mean really any type of paper project with your Cricut machine, you are going to need something like a two-way glue pen. And we've tested a lot of different ones but the two-way glue pen is the one to go for. So what we've done is we've compiled links to all of these supplies down below for you to check out. And if you have never heard of a two-way glue pen, I just saved you a lot of hassle when you were doing DIY projects with paper in the future with your Cricut. So go ahead and check this one out right down below. For item number two, I wanna share with you this reversible tweezer. Now, a lot of people, I think, discredit reversible tweezers. And honestly, again, to coordinate with your two-way glue pen, you are definitely going to want to have reversible tweezers because here's the thing, they're reversible. So when you release it, it actually holds something in place. And when you press it, it releases it. So what I do is I actually hold my small paper pieces with the reversible tweezer, and then I apply the glue with a two-way glue pen, and then I apply it with a reversible tweezer. It's actually very, very handy, and I think you'll learn a whole new process when you get reversible tweezers. And guess what? This also acts as like a different type of weeding tool if you're in a pinch, which is really, really cool. Next, you can check out a bone folder. Now, if you're doing any 3D paper projects with your Cricut machine, if you are building any type of cards, anything like that, you need a bone folder. A lot of you would argue, Tanner, the Cricut machine scores the paper. What am I gonna do with the true scoring tool with this bone folder, right? I have it in the machine, it scores it, I have a score line, but my friend, I wanna offer you that just because you have a scoring tool inside the Cricut machine does not mean that it is actually going to fold the paper. It just creates the line. It gives you the line where it goes. The bone folder is going to give you the crisp professional line that you are going to have successful 3D projects, paper cards, etc., and that is going to be created with the bone folder. This is going to allow you to take the line the Cricut um, goes ahead and puts on the project and then crease it down and to give those perfect edges so you can have very successful projects every time. This is something you definitely want to have. Next up, I want to share with you guys this right here. This is one of my favorite tools that I was actually a paper crafter for many, many years with my Cricut and didn't know about. This is an adhesive remover and it does exactly what it says. It's an adhesive remover. It's like a rubber foam block um, and you just rub it when you accidentally put adhesive on say the wrong side of paper, the wrong side of anything. This right here is super, super handy and I think you'll love having it. You'll see sometimes that if you're using ATG that I could actually just use my finger to remove it. But this right here kind of goes above and beyond and also helps remove other types of adhesive other than just ATG. It actually works really well with the Zig 2A glue pen as well. Next up, this is something you see around here all the time and it is just a measuring tape. This right here sounds so basic, but so many cricketers do not have a simple tape measure like this, and here's the reason why. You guys know around here, we measure twice, cut once. Let me say that again. We always measure twice and we cut once. So how are we going to measure if we cannot measure our cups and things like that? So that's why we really like these type of tape measures, and they'll help you a ton 
with your Cricut projects. These are not just for sewing or seamstress. This is for you, my friend, as a Cricut expert. You are gonna be able to measure everything, know ex the exact size, take it into design space, design your project, and then bring it to life with ease with making sure you measure twice and cut once. Next up is rubbing alcohol. Now, bonus tip if you merge rubbing alcohol inside a pump bottle. This right here is super, super handy and I really, really love having this on hand. I've been using this one personally for about five years and it's a game changer. You can get your pump bottles at the Dollar Tree and the rubbing alcohol is also at the Dollar Tree. And let me explain to you why this is so awesome. Now, rubbing alcohol is great to clean surface. So I like to clean any ceramic, glass, anything I'm applying vinyl to, I actually like to clean it with rubbing alcohol, especially like chalkboards or anything that you're gonna apply vinyl onto. If you clean the surface beforehand, you're going to see that it is gonna allow the vinyl to stick so much better. The results are flawless and I think you'll be really impressed. And again, this is just something really great to have in your Cricut craft supplies. Next up, I wanna share with you guys Mod Podge. Now this is something that you may have already used before. You may have been like, Tanner, I've used Mod Podge for a, a decade, you know, my entire life, right? This is a really, really neat type of glue. This right here is a sealer glue and finish. So what this means is it can glue something down, it can seal something down, and it can act as a finish. So this right here is why I like to keep it on hand, and this will help you in a variety of different projects. There's so many different times that you want to seal something down, you're working on a tray, and you just want to have a good finish. Um, this can act as a really great solution for you. It's not the highest end solution, but I like having this on hand because it's more affordable than epoxy. It's easier to use than some of our other lacquers and things like that. So that's why I just like to recommend to someone as an economical solution that can act in three different ways from the sealer, glue, and finish to have this on hand because it will save you in a pinch when you're working on a Cricut project. As a cricketer, it is mandatory that you have some t-shirts on hand. You never know when you're gonna be in a pinch and you need to make a cricket t-shirt really, really quick. Well, guess what? If it's late at night, you'd have to run out to the store, grab a t-shirt or something like that. So you need to make sure you have, I like to keep two or three in a variety of my most popular sizes. At our house, it's medium and large. And I like to keep them in gray, black, and white just so that if I need to make a really quick t-shirt, I can pull out design space, design something, cut it and apply it really quick. And this is a great way for you to have these on hand so that you can get the true fullness of your Cricut machine at any moment because you have some of these on hand. So definitely stock up on your t-shirts and they even sell them at the dollar store now for less than $5, which is super, super fun. If you've never thought about buying 12 by 12 sheets of vinyl, I just wanna offer you that this is actually one of our favorite ways to order vinyl. You see us a lot of times using it in rolls and things like that, but sometimes you can just go ahead and pick up some sheets of 12 by 12 vinyl for like less than a dollar per sheet. And you'll see that you could have this really easy because it's fit ready to go on your mat. You don't have to worry about it rolling up because it's flat sheets. You can keep it stored in a plastic container and this will allow you to have a lot more color variety than you may be accustomed to when you buy rolls of vinyl. This is just kind of nice to have on hand as well as a Cricuter with more variety of color. I like to stock up with a lot of my primary colors in rolls because it's more affordable and some of the colors I know I'm not going to use all the time like seasonal colors, spring colors, summer colors, fall and especially Christmas colors in these sheets to save me money because remember, vinyl does have a shelf life. I find that anything over a year, a year and a half of vinyl just does not cut, weed and apply the same way as fresh vinyl. So keep that in mind when you are Cricut shopping the next time. If you guys didn't check out our most recent video, we shared with you guys the easiest way to clean your Cricut mats. And this right here is with baby wipes. Now, as a Cricut crafter, besides from cleaning your Cricut mats with baby wipes, this is just so good to have on hand for many, many different projects, especially if you are someone that is going to get a little messy, especially if you're someone that likes to use paint, epoxy, all the different things, you wanna have a pack of baby wipes in the craft room. My favorite reason why I I prefer baby wipes over cleaning Cricut mats in the kitchen sink is because guess what? 
you can do it without leaving your craft area. You can have this really close to your Cricut at your craft table and you don't have to leave your craft room to get running water to actually clean your Cricut mat. And I know you guys at home because I am someone very similar to you. If you have to leave the craft room, it's pretty much a no-go because once you leave, you never know if you could make it back. So definitely keep some of these in your craft space to keep you focused and keep you back from moving on to other parts of your home or getting distracted. Next up is contact paper. Now contact paper, I use it in many different ways here at Makers Gonna Learn. My number one favorite way actually talks towards using and actually saving your Cricut mats. If you love cutting felt, listen up, focus in with me. Contact paper is the number one way I like to put on the back of my felt sheets so that the contact paper is actually touching the Cricut mat and the felt never touches the mat because as you know, after you use two or three sheets of felt on a mat, it's not sticky anymore. So then you're constantly cleaning it. Well, the way to avoid all of that is just to apply contact paper on the back of your felt. It is a game changer. So that's number one. And then guess what you can do with contact paper number two. This could actually act as a, I'll call it a temporary transfer tape. It's not something I would recommend you switching to permanently, but this will help you if you are you've ran out of transfer tape, you need to make a project real fast, this could actually save you in a really like a pinch or something like that because it will definitely act as a great transfer tape for you. It's tacky, but it's not too tacky. So I think it will work great for you as a transfer tape. I've never had too many issues with it, but it's not formulated to be transfer tape. So just keep that in mind when you were thinking about your contact paper. And if you were someone that likes to use felt or any fabrics in your Cricut machine, pick some of this up and it will save you from having to clean your mat constantly. Next up, I have foam mounting tape. Now this is found at the dollar store and y'all, this is a great place to get it. My pro tip here is they're gonna give you pretty large pieces, but have no fear. You can actually cut these into halves or thirds really, really easily for your 3D projects, your paper projects. I use this a bunch in cake toppers and I think you'll be really, really impressed with how this looks um, when you create a paper project. It gives a lot of dimension for you. And if you don't have any of these, try it out. Let me know in the comments what you think. I wanna share with you guys, if you've never purchased one of these type of burnishing tools, what are you doing with your life? I really want you to try one of these for many different reasons. Number one, I really like that it is kind of a more flexible, um, plastic so that you can burnish a little better when you're applying material onto your mat. I also prefer this over other type of scraper tools when I'm working on car decals, window decals, wall decals, things like that. This is going to help you a lot. Now some of the unusual reasons that I love this burnishing tool is because I use it in ways that isn't actually burnishing at all. I like to keep my tumblers on here because it has two little grooves. This is gonna allow you to put a tumbler, a cup, anything like that, sit it right here and keep it in place. And guess what that does for you? You can line up your vinyl decals onto your cup and tumbler 10 times better than you would if you were allowing it to roll around. Definitely give it a shot and let me know in the comments down below what you think. These last two, I wanna share with you what I really love when the dollar store went from $1.25 at the Dollar Tree to offering things in the three to five dollar range. Number one are these awesome new uh, pizza pans and they come in two different sizes and these have been really handy to have around because guess what? This is the perfect size, this larger one, for door hangers. We spray paint these, we decoupage paper onto these, we do all the different things when it comes to creating door hangers with pizza pans as the base. You definitely wanna have a few of these on hand for your next Cricut project because again, whether you are making some type of organizer using magnets, you are wanting to make a door hanger, and honestly, so many different other types of projects, you are definitely going to wanna check this out. Last but not least, that's under $5. This right here is the chalkboard. And again, this came out when the Dollar Tree started offering things over a dollar. And this is $5 and this is the chalkboard. This is a really great size chalkboard. And my favorite project that we've done with it so far is actually a first day of school chart. We were able to turn it this way, you know, create a really fun project. It's here on the channel. It's a cut fall at Maker's Gonna Learn. Check it out. Um, and you can fill out all the information and 
it is just great for the first day of school picture. You could again update it for the last day of school, things like that. Um, and these are just really handy to have on hand. Um, they're really fun. You could do this for so many different ways for weddings, for birthdays. I mean, the possibilities are endless, but again, for something so economical to just have kind of um, on deck or in stock, right, in your craft space, it will come in handy time and time again. So what do you all think, my friends? Do you have all of these yet? What is the one thing that you are missing? Let me know in the comments down below because I wanna know exactly what you're most interested in trying out. I want you to make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new around here. Here at Makers Gonna Learn, we love to teach people how to master their Cricut machine. So if you are new around here and you have not checked us out before, I wanna invite you to a free training. It is my Cricut Confidence Training crash course what we're going to teach you in there is actually nothing to do around the Cricut and more around your mindset of the Cricut machine so if you are not using your machine to its fullest advantage if you have not been able to learn it yet I want to invite you to check out that course I'll leave it linked down below the first link and be sure to check out our channel for many other beginner DIY videos more projects and amazing videos like this one if you enjoyed this video I want to invite you to check out this video right here this video is going to help you save a ton of money and time using your Cricut, and I think you're gonna like it. So go ahead, check it out, and I'll see you back here real soon.